Hi everybody, welcome back to my studio. My name is Natifa and I am the owner of Juicy Christian Studio. I am very excited, it's the new year, so it's it's gonna be a good one. And my goal this year is to send out a lot more happy mail to people. So um, I'm started on my, creating my envelope journey. So all I'm doing here is just using some black gesso to give some texture and some grit and some stability to stability to my envelope. So I'm using black gesso. You can use white gesso if you want, but I just really love um, black gesso because I think it just gives, um, it gives just a really cool effect. It's matte when it dries. And so you'll see when I dry it here that it's going to dry matte, but for the, the design on this envelope, I wanted something that was going to allow the images to be really vibrant and i find that black gesso as the background does that for me and so i just love it and look at that you can just change the color of your craft envelope to any color if you use gesso you can paint on top of it with any um, acrylic paint so that's what i'm going to start doing here for this envelope i don't know who i'm sending it to so i'm just creating it and I'm going to send it out to somebody later. Um, as you guys can see, my uncle's calling me to tell me happy new year. And so we had a little bit of a conversation there and that was fun to hear from him. So I'm just doing some touching up to this one, um, finding all the, the places where I can see some of the, the craft paper and just using some gesso to cover those. For the address label on this one, I have one of these little I guess it's a label also, but it came with the stamp set that I purchased and I love the shape. And so I wanted to use this shape as my template to design my envelope. And I'm just using, uh, I think this is a pastel pencil and I'm just going to draw some florals some flowers with some leaves that I'm going to then be painting in a minute. But this just gives me a good idea and I can, you know, brush this off or wipe this off later when I'm done with my actual painting. But I wanted to give this um, just uh, some flair. And so I'm going to be doing a floral painting on this envelope, trying to bring spring, I guess, because it's snowing here in Michigan. So, and then on the, the, the edges of this envelope, I'm adding just some scallops to the edges because I just find that it gives it um, some whimsy and I love whimsical things. I just think that they're just, it just adds some flair to life and just makes life interesting. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to select my paint here and then I'm going to jump in and get started with my painting. Um, I'm going to start with my leaves and then I'm going to kind of figure out what colors I want to do my florals. Um, and so I'm just going to let you guys watch me paint for a while. And if you guys have any questions about anything, please feel free to let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you. Um, you can always just leave me a comment in the, in the comment section and I can answer those questions for you. But go ahead and just sit back, relax, and enjoy watching me paint.
just going through and I am adding some more craft paint I just wanted to give this background a little bit of a lighter color to kind of just um, in a way embrace the florals that I've painted so far so right here I'm using green tea craft paint um, it's a lighter um, shade of green like a very pale green and I'm just going through and just painting around all of my flowers, my flowers and my leaves and the um, the space for the adjust label. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. now I'm going to go through and I am using um, some sapphire craft paint and I've added some white to it to give it a little bit of a lighter shade and that's what I'm using to paint my scallops I think it just gives the envelope just a, a lighter and um, a little bit more soothing color on the edges so um, that's what I've used here <music> So then I just decided I was going to go around my adjust label and just give it more of a definition by adding this frame to it. So that's what I'm doing here.
So now I've switched over to my stamps. Um, I love, love, love stamps. I think they are just beautiful. And I don't mind, you know, stamping over images. I think that it just gives it a different level of depth. And I think that um, it just adds some beauty to it. And so don't be, don't be afraid to do that. Um, and I would encourage you to use the stamps that just make your heart smile, that makes you want to use them. I love to find, you know, vintage stamps or numbers and images. I love all of them. And so those are the stamps that I would encourage you to use. And that's what I'm doing here. Now I'm going to go through and I've used my I'm using my jelly roll pen um, I think this is like a light green I think I started out using a, a light green that was very sparkly but then it just wasn't giving me the the effect that I wanted when you first look at it if you moved it it, it would shimmer yes but I wanted something a little bit more um, vibrant and so I switched to another jelly roll pen that had a like a silver um, undertone when it dried it was green but it, it was like a silver green silver something or another so I'm just going through and I'm just um, adding little bits to my leaves to kind of highlight them and make them a little bit more um, beautiful and, and stand out a little bit more in the envelope and that's what um, you see me doing just adding our final dots um, to this envelope and we're gonna call it good um, if you guys want to send me happy mail I would love to receive some mail from you I'm going to add my address here quickly to um, this envelope but um, I really hope you guys um, enjoyed it a little bit I think it's um, it's a lot of fun and uh, I love creating these so if they make you happy to um, 
and you want to receive mail from me, you're more than welcome to leave me a comment um, or send me your address um, on Instagram. You can DM me your address and I will add you to the list to receive mail from me. So hopefully you guys enjoy this envelope and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Talk to you soon.